Okay, Mr. Holiday here. Got a great lesson for you today. We're going to teach you how to use basic and advanced digital painting techniques in pixel art. Basic and advanced digital painting techniques. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff to cover here today, so let me hasten. So first of all, you're going to create new, uh, and you're going to make sure that your width is 2550, your height is 3300. That's the same as US paper. Create new. Now, you want to get rid of this guy because that's always in the play, in, in the area that you don't want. That was for uh, getting the advanced version. You don't want to use that because we're not paying for it. Okay, let me move on. The tools we'll use today will be the wand tool, wand selection, and we will be using the fill tool. All right. Now you can get uh, a new image by clicking here and getting the image here, or you can get an image here in layer. And we're gonna be adding an image as layer. So you said, well, what are you gonna put in here? You're going to put in here for today's lesson, the JBass picture that I have uploaded to your art packet. So IDD1 or IDD2, it's in your art packet. So J Bass cartoon painting lesson. This is basics. Uh, uh, and so one of the things that I've had students have trouble with is they said, Mr. Holiday, this doesn't load up right. So you may need to right click and copy this image, make copies. I'm not gonna do it here. Or you can move the image to your download, okay? So you, you may have to modify it to make sure it works. And I'll click on this to show you what it looks like. This is actually an emoji I've made of myself uh, wearing a, uh, a short brim hat. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna go to add image as layer, and you're going to get it out of your folder, either from downloads or your art packet. It will probably be the copy image open and it snaps right to the document all right now this is really important this is a layer that you will not paint on you will be painting on new layers that you create okay so we're going to make a new layer first and we're going to go to empty and there it is now we're going to drag this new layer under the j bass painting all right and we're going to label this layer. Let's call it shirt, okay? Because we're gonna work on the shirt first. And you can label each layer that makes it very easy to work with. So I labeled it and now I can close it. You see that? Now, on this J Bass layer, you wanna right click, change the mode from none to multiply. And that's very important because that's gonna make this layer transparent so I can see everything that's under it. It's very important that that layer is multiplied. And I'll show that to you later on. So on the shirt, shirt layer, I can come right over to the wand and I can, I can select right on that shirt layer, the area that I want to work on. Eventually I'm going to select it on the J Bass cartoon painting layer as it gets more complicated. So let's go to shirt layer, all right, with the wand and click one time. So I select that side of his shirt. Now I want to be in this different mode up here. So you see the modes, you have new selection and you had add to selection. So right up here, look where it's blinking. You have to be on the second setting so I can keep selecting areas. So I want to select the other side of the shirt. Now I'll have a plain blue color. Blue is a good color. And I'll go to the fill tool and I'll click one time. And there it is. That's a basic painting move. Control D, now the shirt is filled in. That's basic. You can keep working on the face and what you'll do is you'll create a new layer, another empty layer. Now every time you have to put this layer under the J Bass, it's very important that you do that. 
you put it under this. You don't want it above it, all right? And I'll show you why. If I was to right click and go none, then you wouldn't see it because I've made this layer transparent by going multiply. Now, the next section I wanna work on is face. So I'm gonna type in face. and click on it make sure that the word hops in there and close it now that's my face layer now i'll come over here to the wand tool and instead of clicking on well yeah i can click on the face layer because it's empty i'll start selecting the face like that and it went all the way around all the lines and it didn't get that top lip but i'm going to click on that top lip too click on uh, I guess I could click on his neck. Yeah, let's get the neck too. And let's get the ears. So actually, this layer should have been called skin. But we'll just leave it face for right now. Okay? You can call it whatever you want. Man's face, j -Bass face, skin. It's a lot of things you can call it. All right. Now, what I want to do is choose some cool colors here. So I'll select this color picker, move it over here, and look what it does. It gives me some optional colors here. It gives me tertiary colors for skin tone. So I'm gonna click on that skin tone color, which isn't bad. I can make it a little bit darker if I want. Move it around. And that's pretty good. And I'll come over to my fill color. And like I said before, this is all basics. So when I click that, boom. There it is, control D. Now it looks funny that the eyes have not, you know, the whites of the eye need to be fixed because that looks funny, all right? So I wanna come over here to this tool, it's called the lasso tool. You use your middle mouse button or you scroll in by hitting control uh, plus or you, if you have a mouse and a mouse isn't a bad idea. Get yourself a mouse off the computer and. If your mom and dad are okay with it, then you can use this mouse to select areas. So using the free lasso or the polygon, I will select this area and punch that out. I like using the polygon tool. Get used to this. So with the polygon tool, you click once and you drag a line and you make short little lines. Once again, when using the polygon lasso, you wanna left click and drag. Left click and drag with the mouse by clicking. So you click, drag the line, click. You see how that line is dragging? Click, and the more you click, it makes it go around corners really easy. Click, drag, click, drag. And then I wanna go up the heel a little bit. So I'm using the polygon tool to select that eye that was here and then i want to go to add to selection and i'll do the same on this eye so both of them can punch out at the same time click 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 go down drag and click now some people may say well can i just use the free you can use the free one as well and make sure you go around and close the selection when it's closed, then you're going to hit delete or backspace. And there it is, control D, control zero. I'm having fun. Now that's a basic idea for painting j -Bags. Now, you're gonna get into some situations where the line is not totally closed, like the line is not closed on the brim up here. So you're gonna to have to use the polygon lasso when you paint this brim. So go all around the whole polygon lasso on this part of the brim to paint it. Otherwise, you can still complete your layers by adding more layers. Always put the layers under. Why? Because j -Bass is what? Multiply. And once again, if I take it out, you won't see anything. So that has to be multiplied on top. All right. So you're going to have fun with this. This is the basic part of the lesson.
Now I'm going to get into some advanced ideas. All right. So hold on to your hat. We're ready to move into some advanced ideas. This is the next section of this video. I'm not going to stop it, but I am going to create a new canvas. So keep working on JBass for basic ideas. The advanced ideas are coming right now. Okay. So for advanced ideas, I'm going to create, my bad. I'm going to create new, create new, same setup. All right, get rid of this guy because he's in a way. And this time, I want you to bring in one of your pictures, one of the pictures that you drew uh, in the class for basic drawing. All right, so if you drew the cute pup or you drew the, the goofy dog or whatever you drew, you might have drew the owl, you might have drew the bird, you're going to bring that image in. So you go to layer, add image as layer, or you could come over here and get it at the image. So I'm going to do it here because you can see me get it done. And that should be in a folder that you have designated in your Google Drive. Now, this is a picture I did a few years ago, and it's pretty detailed. Actually, I did it over the summer. Uh, but it's part of a cartoon series called uh, Tiberius. Now, this is pretty big. So I want to scroll out, and I want to go to the Arrange tool and make this a little smaller so it fits in the canvas better. See how I did that? Now, this is an advanced idea. So you may have to move your picture around. And so the next tool you'll be using is the Arrange tool. You'll hit Control-0 to make it big again. All right. So all I did was scroll back to see the edges if your picture is too big. If it's too small, then you have to make it larger, obviously. All right. Now, I can make this big or small based on the size that I want. Now, this is very important. For an advanced idea, I need to correct the levels here because these are pencil lines, all right? So the way you're gonna correct it first is you're gonna come up here to adjustment and you're gonna come to this word desaturate and that makes it into a gray document, desaturate. And it takes all the color out. So if you worked on like a slightly tinted paper, it takes the color out. Now what I wanna do is come back to adjustments and I want to go to levels, okay? So when I go to levels, levels is going to also help me make this look more contrasty. So I want to fix that gray color by pushing my white indicators, and it made it a little bit gray, but you say, well, what happened to the dark colors? Well, I'll go to the mid-tones if I have shading, and make that a little bit darker. So that makes it work the mid-tones. And then this is your blacks. That can make it a little bit blacker. Never push it over too much like that. That's way too much. So just move these indicators just a little bit so that you could see your black and white lines better. And then you apply it. So that was done with adjustments. We use desaturate and we use levels write that down now the next step is for me to come to this lasso tool and i have a burn mark over here from my paper so i could just simply lasso that area and get rid of that burn mark and maybe you have some speed lines or some extra lines you don't want you can lasso those areas up and because i'm already into add to selection going to get rid of my signature down here because I don't want to see that either. All right. And I can feather that if I want. Okay. Feather means I'm going to feather it so that it's nice and soft. All right. But we'll get into that feathering idea later on. Now I'm going to backspace that or delete and it's gone. See how simple that was? Now, you can also take a soft eraser and fix things. So I could drop this down. Now, these are all advanced ideas. So the advanced ideas are going to be for those that, you know, are going to take it up to this next level.
and we I might I am going to expect you to take it up to the next level. But working on J Bass, the basic one is good for those who can handle the advance. This is the part I want you to work on now. All right, so I could size my brush and make it soft. I want to choose this selection for a nice brush, soft brush. And I can also get in here and erase areas with a nice soft eraser, a nice soft eraser. Okay, now I am ready to make this into a name and I'm going to call this line, line art. Okay, so I need to type in line art. Okay, and you can hit enter and close it. And now that's line art. And then I want to change the mode to what? You guessed it, multiply. All right. Now, I want to create a empty layer, drag that layer under this. Always layers are always under here. And now I'm going to zoom in really close. Get rid of this guy here. You don't need to get premium. Hold down space bar so I can move and drag in that hat. All right, because I really want you to see this. This is an advanced idea. And I'm going to come over here to the lasso tool. Now I want to use the polygon to give me for that ring. Once again, I want to use the polygon. So with the polygon tool, watch how this works. If I click and keep clicking in small little straight lines, I can actually, it appears to look like it's going in curves. And I'm just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging small little lines. And that made a section. And then you can paint it any color you want. All right. So you can practice on the side just like I did here. And I'm going to make that hat blue. Okay. So if I was just to go paint that with the paint bucket, come over here to fill and click on that. There you go. All right. But I was just practicing there to show you what that looks like. Control D. So what I want to do is change this to hat. And now I am going to take this polygon tool and I'm going to go around this hat. Now, when you go around your pencil drawing, make sure that you your pencil lines are dark. This only works if your pencil drawing is dark enough. So some of you might need to go back into your pencil and make it darker. Always take the polygon through the center of the pencil line. Notice how I'm going through the center of the line. Now, I'm being very careful here to click in small segments. I'm clicking in small segments. And I'm, I'm moving kind of fast here, too. You can be a little bit more careful. And if you accidentally mess up, you hit Control D and start again. Now I'm making these small segments, working around the hat here, or around the corners. And as you go through curves, you click more than once. Small little lines will help you do curves. Click, 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 click. I don't wanna make big straight polygon lines. I want short lines. All right, go around the eyebrow, click, click. And this may seem kind of monotonous, but this is for those that are going to do advanced ideas. And you can click your shapes in any section of your cartoon that you want. And I'm clicking around the ear now, be very careful. Going upside the hat, click around the edges. until it fills in. Now, there was one thing that I should have mentioned. 
I should have actually started off my polygon with this set at a seven radius. And that would have made this feel, uh, this lasso a lot smoother. And I guess I could show you that because right now, if I was to do a feel, the feel would look okay. Okay, control D. But it's not as soft as I would like it. So I'm clicking off my vision. And so if I zoom in on it, and this is a great example to show you different edges. If I zoom in on it, you can see that my edge is kind of pixelated and it's not really soft. But I can make that soft by making sure that the feather was soft, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm not going to do it again. But just remember, next time you do your uh, lasso with your polygon, set your feather at 7. And I think you might like your edges better. And I'll show you an example of that. So if I was to click something right now with the polygon tool. Okay, let me get going here. Hit Control Zero, back out. All right, so I'll start up the polygon tool again, right here. And I'll zoom in to show you the difference. So I click, click, click. And now when I fill it in, watch the difference. Okay, Control D. I think you will like a softer edge. See that? But some of you may like the hard edge. Okay, the softer edge will look better to me because I'm a perfectionist and I like to do digital illustration. But the hard edge is good too. Okay, so you say, well, how do you get rid of that little thing there? You can go to the lasso tool and just lasso it up. And like I said, you can really practice the lasso to backspace, get rid of it. And that's an advanced idea. Now you can get into some advanced ideas with shading by creating another layer, empty layer, put it right on top, all right? And because you've already done such a good job selecting this, watch this, come back to the hat layer, select pixels, come back to this new layer, call this new layer, Shade hat. You see it in her. And then change the change. No, you just could keep it. You just get a darker blue. I think that would be easier because I was going to do multiply. But just get a darker blue. Hit OK. And while the hat is selected, come over here to the paintbrush tool. All right. Drop your opacity. A uh, little bit under 50, keep it around 50. Make sure that you have a soft brush. So I'm going to go 150, and you can also make it softer here. And so, with a soft brush, you're being an artist. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And you can get in here and do some shading. So, maybe there's some shading under the hat with that darker blue. See how that blue is darker? And I'm just going to go slowly with that. All right. Make that blue just a little bit darker. And I'll zoom in to show you how this works. I'm using spacebar to move things around. Left click spacebar. And I'm making that right up under the hat. And maybe you'll see a little bit here. So you're moving this paint around digital paint and maybe it's a little bit in the back here and maybe it's a little bit here see that and that's all on the shaded layer see that see I click the vision off that's the shaded layer now you may say to yourself well I don't want it to be up there well guess what you could do you come over here to your eraser tool and you can erase that part ah look at that and maybe you didn't want it there either. You can erase that. So you could practice this as much as you want. You can isolate areas, specific areas with the magic wand. 
to work your shading. So that's shading. With or without, you can turn it off and see how that modified it. Okay, so you're glad, you guys are going to do some fantastic work here. Those are some of the uh, advanced ideas. I know this video went a little long, uh, but you can speed it up and uh, have a great time. Also, if you notice, I, did, I wasn't able to paint on the outside of this selected area at all. That's why you select it. Oh, I just love painting. Look at that. I'm painting the top of that now. So do a good job with this. Control D. And you can paint your cartoons advance. Okay. Do a good job. And then you're going to come over here to file. And then you're going to save. And it's going to automatically default to your download. And you'll manage your files as JPEGs in download. Create a folder in Google Drive. Make sure you name your name and then you put the title of the assignment. All right. Thumbs up. Let's uh, have some fun.